Good afternoon to everyone. 今天我们有多少个人讲呃韩语的？呃 ，How many people today do we have who understand Chinese? 哦，好，好，我们今天啊，我们现在准备嗯讲这个今天下午的课。So we are Ready now to begin with this afternoon's teaching. Uh, today's afternoon's the topic of this afternoon's teaching is how to, in our everyday lives, go about transforming suffering into happiness. Uh, the reason that we are talking about this subject this afternoon is because everyone in their minds has all kinds of afflictions. Everyone has some kind of inherent afflictions. 呃，然后呢，多数的烦恼呢，就是因为我们的，比如说家庭啊、工作、生活，给我们带来的啊各种各样的烦恼。And the majority of our afflictions, you might say, or、um, vexations in life, derive from our life in general, our work lives, our family lives. 首先、嗯，啊，我们可以这样子讲。首先，我们作为一个人，啊，那么人是什么呢？人是什么东西构造的？啊，人的一部分是物质，就是我们的这个身体啊。然后呢，人的另外的一部分是精神啊。所以，人是物质和精神啊。Now, the first thing that we have to establish is、uh, how a human being is comprised, what a human being is made up of.、Um, and we can say that humans are comprised of a material component and a spiritual component, or the mind. So we are constituted by these two elements. 呃，因为人是这个物质和精神组成的，所以啊，人
就有两种不同的需求，一个是物质的需求，也就是我们的身体的需求；另外一个是精神方面的需求。人就有两个不同的需求。So because we're comprised of these two different elements. We as humans have needs that correspond to each of them. So, as humans, we have needs that are material in nature, and also needs that are spiritual in nature or that pertain to our minds. Um, because man, ah, has two different needs, so we have two different lives. One is called material life. Ah. 另外一个就叫做精神生活。So on account of us having these two different kinds of needs, we can speak about、um, ourselves having two kinds of life. A material we have material lives or lives that are oriented to material fulfillment and lives that are oriented to、uh, spiritual fulfillment. 那么这两个不同的这个生活啊，当中任何一个生活当中啊，就是。的不能给我们提供啊满足满意的东西，比如说啊物质的这个生活当中缺乏了一些东西的时候呢，然后啊我们的身体开始啊不舒服，呃、啊、不会甚至会痛苦。同样的啊，我们的精神的这个生活当中也缺乏了一些东西的时候啊。我们的精神生活不能满足我们的这个精神啊，这样子的时候呢，然后同样我们的精神就会呃烦恼啊，开不开心啊，甚至是痛苦。So, in respect of these two different aspects that we have and the two different lives that correspond with them, if we are lacking, if we fail to fulfil our needs with respect to either, then we feel、um, unsatisfied. So, in so far as our, our material、uh, lives or our material aspect is concerned, if we are not able to satisfy our needs, then our bodies feel、um, uncomfortable. Perhaps even we experience some kind of physical pain or suffering. And the same、uh, goes for our spiritual lives as well.、Um, when they are not able to fulfil our spiritual needs fully, then uh, we uh, become unsatisfied. We、uh, experience vexation, unhappiness, and potentially suffering. Then, these two different lives, two different lives, in the sense of material life, ah, we experience some kind of 基本的这个东西的时候呢，啊，这个就叫做贫穷啊。我们会讲，这就是贫穷，嗯，呃，但是啊，同样的，我们的精神生活啊，精神生活当中缺乏了一些东西的时候呢，同样的也叫做啊贫穷啊，这两个都叫做贫穷。So when we、uh, lack certain needs in our material lives, we refer to that state as one of poverty. And actually, we can say the same for our spiritual lives as well. When we are uh, lacking uh, ne necessary things in terms of our spiritual, need spiritual needs, then we can describe ourselves as being in a state of poverty. So, in respect of both the spiritual and the material, we can talk about、um, an inability to fulfil our needs as a state of poverty. 啊，可是我们啊，人是什么样子？人，我们绝大多数的人就觉得啊，贫穷就是我们的物质生活不能满足我们的这个需求啊，缺乏一些基本的这些需要的东西的时候呢，我们啊认为大家都认为这个是贫穷，嗯，但是我们啊，精神生活方面啊。就是缺乏一些东西的时候呢，我们还没有感觉到这个叫做贫穷啊。平时我们不认为这个是贫穷，但是实际上啊，这两个都叫做贫穷。
So most people um, would readily perceive a lack of material things in their life as poverty, but still a lot of people wouldn't recognize or identify a lack of uh, spiritual things or a failure to fulfill their spiritual needs as poverty. But in actual fact, we should consider these both equally as forms of poverty. Now, we are why we are not poverty. Why are we 为什么精神生活当中啊缺乏一些东西的时候，我们为什么不认为这个是贫穷呢？就是因为我们特别的看重啊物质，啊看重了物质，然后呢，我们把这个精神啊方面的很多东西忽略了啊，所以我们认为精神上缺乏了很多东西，但是我们不认为这个啊是贫穷，我们也不叫它贫穷，然后。物质方面啊，缺乏东西的时候呢，然后我们认为这个是贫穷，我们也叫它贫穷啊。那么原因，这是我们特别特别的看重物质，忽略了这个精神啊，就是这个原因。So why is it that when we experience material lack that we are willing to call ourselves poor but not so in a situation of spiritual lack? The reason for this is that we place an extreme emphasis on our material lives, on material things, and we neglect matters of the spirit, we neglect our spiritual lives. So as a result, when we do experience spiritual lack, we don't identify this as poverty, but we do when we have some kind of material lacking. And uh, this is because of the undue emphasis that we place on the material aspect of our lives. 那么，这个价值观啊，这个是我们的价值观。这个价值观的结果啊，它的结果是什么呢？啊，现在，呃，绝大多数的人啊，物质已经有了很多很多很多的物质啊，但是呢，精神啊，精神方面。空虚啊，浮躁，然后就是烦恼啊，甚至是痛苦啊，得不到这个，解决不了这个精神啊上的这个问题啊。那么，这是他的这个结果。So this particular、uh, priority of values that we have carries the result. Um, of us being in a situation where we possess a lot of material things, we have a lot of material belongings, etc. But in terms of our spiritual lives, we often find ourselves empty, perturbed, agitated, and suffering. This is the direct result of the values that we hold. Then this result is because we don't control this, we don't have this. 关注我们的这个精神的问题，然后最后就是导致了啊，很多很多的人啊，虽然啊，虽然有很多的物质啊，比如说我们这个，比如说像夏威夷这么漂亮的这个风景啊，到处都是风景，到处都是美景啊，很多人觉得在这个地方啊，人在这个地方生活，很多人觉得应该是很幸福的。但是我想可能不是这样子的啊，呃，因为在这个地方生活的人，他也有他们的啊各种各样的这个内心的这个痛苦啊，内心的这个问题，那全世界所有人都有的。那么这个问题没有解决了以后呢，逐渐逐渐的啊，最后我们啊这个很多人的精神，最后就是变得不健康啊，比如说有有这个抑郁症。啊，然后就是焦虑症啊，等等等等的这个结啊，这个精神上的疾病，那、啊、就越来越多了。Uh, so if we um don't exercise control over our spiritual lives, then this tends to be the result. We can、um, be in a situation where we own lots of、uh, material things or enjoy a very rich material life. For example, in Hawaii,、um, many people, I'm sure, believe that、um, everyone who lives in Hawaii must be extremely happy. Everywhere one looks, it's One is surrounded by beautiful scenery. There's so much beauty everywhere.、Um, but I would say that even though 
many people think that to live here one must automatically be happy it's probably not the case people here like people everywhere no doubt experience their own inner suffering everyone all around the world is the uh, same in this regard in any case in terms of our inner suffering if we don't address it if we don't uh, solve it then people's minds become increasingly unhealthy um, and may develop uh, conditions such as depression or anxiety um, and in general, mental health tends to increase in this kind of situation. Mm, Waimandavu So is the external world able to deliver us happiness? Well, as to whether or not it is, as, as to whether or not the external or material world is able to give us happiness, it depends really on the state of our mind, uh, our attitude. Um, it's whether or not we can derive happiness from the material world isn't determined by the material world itself, but our attitude or our mood. If <laughs> 然后呢，外面的环境啊再优美啊，然后我们拥有的这个物质再丰富啊，都不能啊，都不能幸福。If we haven't been able to properly adjust our state of minds, then regardless of how beautiful the uh, surrounding scenery might be, or how rich and plentiful our material lives will may be, we won't still won't experience happiness. 那么这样子的话我们刚才讲了食物空气我们大家都知道我需要这些了但是精神上面需要什么呢我们很多人不太清楚到底需要什么 returning to uh, this idea of us having material lives and uh, spiritual lives in, in terms of the, of the first one, our material lives, we're generally very clear as to what our needs are and how we go should go about addressing them. So for example, we're very clear about the fact that if we experience thirst, we should uh, drink water. If we're hungry, we should eat food. So we're really clear about things such as the necessity of air, water, food, etc. However, in terms of our spiritual lives, many, many people are not clear about their needs and how they should go about addressing them. 我们大家想想我们的精神生活里面需要什么有什么东西在精神生活当中给我们带来幸福就是你们回答一下请问大家我们的精神生活当中 um, I'd be really interested to hear from some of you what you think our spiritual lives need, what our spiritual lives should be equipped with. If anybody has any ideas. <笑>一定要有目标才能活得有成就感还有呢<笑> 
a way a way to happiness. Hmm. Ah, find a real happiness one a way. Ah, for oneself and other people. Ah, uh, uh, Meditation. Wow. Yeah. 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 Uh, 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 Thank you for your very good answers. <笑><笑><笑> 啊，这样子的时候啊，我们怎么样去解决这个问题啊？接下来我们从佛教的角度呃，先给大家啊这个介绍一下这个方法。So uh, from here I'd uh like to move on to talking about how we go about um addressing matters when we encounter suffering or vexation in our lives. And uh, I would like to provide um, an introduction as to um, a method we can use uh, from a Buddhist perspective. Then,我们人的这个人类的基本的这个痛苦,基本的痛苦是佛教里面就讲 生老病死啊，四个痛苦。So, uh, according to Buddhism, the basic or fundamental suffering in human life is described as being the suffering of um, birth, aging, sickness, and death. 那么这个四个痛苦当中呢，啊，神，我们每一个人都已经诞生了啊。那么这个痛不痛苦，我们现在很多人也记不得了啊。但是啊，其他的三个啊，另外的这个三个呢，我们每一个人啊，一定要面对的。So as to the first uh, kind, this uh, of suffering, the suffering uh, associated with birth. Well, all of us have already arisen, and most of us don't really remember the suffering uh, associated with that. Um, however, the other three types of suffering, the suffering associated with aging and sickness and death, are ones that we will inevitably encounter. 除了这个, 
And uh, besides these four forms of suffering, there's another four forms of suffering. 比如说，我想要的东西得不到啊，这跟我们平时我们的生活当中很多时候都有，这就是一个痛苦。So the first kind would be when we are not able to attain the things that we want to attain. 然后我不想啊，不想拥有的东西，我不想看到的东西，不想遇到的东西啊。然后呢，呃、啊，没有办法的情况下，我遇到了，看到了啊啊，等等啊，这个是第二个，这个我们生活当中啊，处处都有这样子的痛苦。The second type of suffering is that associated with having to encounter or experience things that we don't want to encounter or experience, and、uh, instances of this kind of suffering everywhere in our lives. Ah, 然后啊，第三个就是我们啊离开啊不想离开的人，比如说自己的亲人、家人啊这样子。The third kind of suffering, when we have to part from people we don't wish to part from, such as our family members and so on. The fourth is ah, we don't want to ah, contact ah, we don't want to contact people ah, we don't want to be together, 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 we don't want to be together. And the fourth kind of suffering is the suffering associated with having to be in the company of people we wish we didn't have to be in the company of. So having to study or work with people that we wish we didn't have to. Ah, ah, these eight, ah, this is called human's basic pain. So putting these、uh, kinds of suffering together, we have what is referred to as the eight. Basic forms of human suffering. We have the eight basic forms of human suffering. We have the eight basic forms of human suffering. We have the eight basic forms of human suffering. We have the eight basic forms of human suffering. We have the eight basic forms of human suffering. We have the eight basic forms of human suffering. We have the eight basic forms of human suffering. We have the eight basic forms of human suffering. We have the eight basic forms of human suffering. We have the eight basic forms of human suffering. We have the eight basic forms of human suffering. We have the eight basic forms of human suffering. We have the eight basic forms of human suffering. We have the eight basic forms of human suffering. We have the eight basic forms of human suffering. We have the eight basic forms of human suffering. We have the eight basic forms of human suffering. We have the eight basic forms of human suffering. We have the eight basic forms of human suffering. We have the eight basic forms of human suffering. And in any place. 那么，我们接下来要给大家介绍啊，当我们遇到这些问题的时候啊，我们以以什么样的心态啊去面对啊？我们遇到这些问题的时候，我们应该啊怎么去看啊？应该怎么去调整我们的心态啊？接下来啊，给大家介绍一下啊这个方法。So I'd like to, what I'd like to talk、uh, a little bit now about is how we should go about、uh, confronting or approaching these kinds of suffering when they manifest in our lives, and I'd like to talk about、um, a method that we can use for adopting a mindset conducive to addressing these kinds of suffering. 我今天啊，要给大家讲三种方法，三个方法。So I'd like to、uh, talk about three methods that we can adopt today. 然后三个方法当中呢，其中两个啊，其中两个是刚才你们的这个回答当中啊，已经呃、啊、说到了。And of these three methods, two of them were already、um, raised in the answers that were given、uh, just now in respect to the spiritual life question. 首先，第一个啊、uh, 方法是刚才这位先生说的啊， uh, 要接受，要面对现实啊， uh, 这一个是非常重要的一个。Uh, so the first method, which was um, uh, mentioned by uh, this. Um, A gentleman here <laughs> was、uh, that when we encounter some kind of experience, that we need to confront it and we need to accept it. 面对现实啊，接受现状啊，这个说起来是很容易的，但是呢，这个很难做到。Of course, to say. To talk about accepting reality as it is is a very easy thing to do, but in practice, it's extremely difficult. 
，我们每个人都会说啊，我们要面对现实，要接受现状啊。但是呢，当我们遇到问题的时候呢，我们不会啊面对现实啊，接受现状。这个时候，我们一定会拒绝现实。So everyone always talks about, oh yes, we should accept reality and all of that kind of thing. However, what happens is that when we do encounter some difficulty or suffering, we find ourselves rejecting reality. 比如说啊，当我们生病的时候啊，生病啊，那么生病我们的身体啊，这个生病了。那这就是一个现实，这个是所有所有所有人都会有的，是一个现实啊。但是呢，我们没有人愿意我生病啊，我们这个时候呢，一定会拒绝啊。所以我们一般的情况下，我们都不会面对现实的。So, for example, when we are sick, our bodies are suffering. This is a fact. We are sick. However, nobody likes to be sick, and everyone tends to resist this state. So, in general, we、uh, don't tend to、uh, accept、um, reality. 那么这个时候啊，因为我们不面对现实，我们不不接受这个痛苦啊，然后我们用各种各样的方法去拒绝。尤其是我们的心理上啊，拒绝啊，我不应该生病，我为什么生病呢？等等等等啊，然后就内心当中，比如说我自己的卫生啊，比如说我啊，这个生活啊，这个不卫生啊，不健康的生活，比如说啊，吃的东西啊，或者是熬夜啊，等等。总而言之，就是因为这些不健康的这个生活的方式啊，给我带来了这样子的这个病痛，然后呢，特别的后悔啊、内疚等等，就是心理上啊，就去抗拒这个病啊，我们不会拒绝，不会不会接受啊，一直都在我们的心理上在这个呃、啊、拒绝，那么这个拒绝。它导致了什么呢？导致了我们的这个病痛啊，会更加的啊，更加的严重。So when we、um, do find ourselves being sick, then our minds come up with all manner of ways of resisting the reality of our sickness. Our minds ask, "Why is it that I am sick? How is it that I am sick? Was it due to my unhealthy lifestyle? Was it due to the food I eat or staying up late and in、um, uh, mulling over the various reasons?、Uh, we find ourselves in a state of regret and just overall resistance to the."、Uh, Situation of our sickness, and what this leads to is a situation where our sickness brings us、um, greater and more serious suffering. 然后，尤其是啊，尤其是我们的精神上的这个痛苦啊，精神上的痛苦，所有的痛苦都是一样。精神上的痛苦，我们越是拒绝啊，越抗拒。然后我们的痛苦就会越来越增长啊，越来越严重。Uh, the same goes for any kind of、uh, suffering that we experience in our minds. The more that we resist the suffering, the suffering associated with、uh, the problem will become、uh, increasingly serious. 然后身体上啊，比如说身体上生病啊，得了一个绝症。啊，得了一个绝症，像癌症啊等等，啊这样子这个绝症，这样子的时候呢，那很多人会说啊，为什么是我呢？啊，为什么我得这样子的病呢？啊，得这个病的是为什么是我？为什么轮到我的头上呢？啊，很多人会啊这样子拒绝。嗯、um...。People who contract terminal illnesses, for example, in many cases, will ask, "Why is it me? Why did this happen to me, of all people? Why me?" Then, this kind of rejection, after that, our heart, ah, heart, will be more difficult. Ah, 
，就我认啊，我觉得，比如说，因为大家都没有得病，大家都没有得这样子的病，为什么我一个人就得这样子的病呢？啊，这不公平呢，不应该啊，啊，等等，这样子以后呢，我的心里就不能接受了，不能接受了以后呢，我内心的这个痛苦就会越来越增长啊，越来越糟糕。So, um, uh, a person who is resisting the fact of their sickness will think things like, "Why me? Why has this happened to me? No one else is in this situation. No one else contracted this same illness. It's so unfair. It's so unjust." And the mind, uh, not being able to accept the reality of the illness, will find that its state of suffering becomes increasingly worse. Then. 就是因为我们的心情啊，糟糕，越来越糟糕，最后啊，这个我们的心啊，啊，也就影响到了这个身体啊，影响到了身体，所以这个身体的这个疾病越来越恶化啊，越来越恶化。And as a result of our uh, minds, the state of our minds uh, becoming worse and worse, this then has a negative effect on our bodies, such that our physical ailment continues to deteriorate. So, when we encounter this kind of pain, first we have to face the pain and accept it. This is the most important thing. So the very first step then that we have to take when we do encounter some form of suffering is to embrace it, to accept it. This is extremely important. Um, 比如说我们生病的时候啊，我们生病的时候要去打针啊，或者是吃药啊，呃，那么打针我们很多人不喜欢。啊，不喜欢这个感啊，这个这个这个感觉啊，然后呢，吃药啊，有些药啊，也是这个味道啊，这个药的味道，我们很多人也不喜欢啊。但是呢，啊，生病的时候呢，我们会接受它的。So when we get sick, sometimes we need an injection or we need to take some kind of medication. Of course, a lot of people don't like the feeling of getting an injection, and a lot of people don't like the taste of certain kinds of medicine. However, when we are in a state of illness, we are willing to accept doing these things. 那么，这个时候啊，我们虽然不喜欢打针，不喜欢这个药的这个味道啊，我们都不喜欢，但是。我们会接受啊，那为什么你不喜欢？为什么要接受呢？我们就是喜欢这个药的作用啊，它能给我治病啊，给我治病，我们就喜欢药的啊这个效果，而不是喜欢药的味道。So why is it in this situation, given that we don't like the feeling of uh, needles and that we don't like the taste of medicine, that we are willing to get injections or take medicine? And the reason is that what we do like or what we do desire is the uh, function or the capacity of the medication. That is its curative capacity. So what we are actually um, appreciating is the result that the medication can bring us. Uh, 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 吃了这个药以后呢，可以治病，对我的健康啊有帮助，所以啊，我们可以这个接受啊，接受的理由就是这样子。Because we know that even though we don't obviously like the experience of having an operation. Uh, but because we know that the operation is able to cure us, because we know that a medication, a particular kind of medicine, is able to restore our health, therefore we are um, willing to uh, engage in these um, or to take these measures. Uh, we have a reason for accepting them. 
。同样的啊，我们在生活当中遇到的这些痛苦，比如说我们的身体生病啊，那么这个生病的这个感受啊，我们不喜欢啊，这个感受啊，生病的这种感觉是一个。呃，是一个我们大家都不喜欢的一个这样子的感受啊，所以我们不喜欢它，嗯，呃，但是呢，啊，这个感受啊，这个感受的后面，这个背后有一个东西啊，它可以帮助到我们。从这个角度来看啊，痛苦啊，身体上的痛苦也是我们可以接受的。Uh, so when we, in our everyday lives, when we experience suffering such as、uh, sickness, no one likes the feeling of uh, uh, sickness. However, behind that experience or feeling of sickness is something that is able to be of assistance to us. So on this basis, we can accept it. 精神上的也是一样，比如说离婚啊，年轻人失恋、离婚啊，或者是失业。啊，在这样子的时候啊，或者是我们就是精神上啊受到了一些打击，那这样子的时候呢，我们啊会伤心的。那么这个伤心啊，这种这种感觉啊，是一个我们大家都不太喜欢的一个这样子的感受啊。但是它的背后呢，也有一个东西是可以帮助到我们的。And the same goes for other sorts of suffering in life. For example, the experience of falling out of love with someone, divorce, losing one's job, or other sorts of emotional injuries that we sustain. Nobody likes the feeling and the experience of hurt that is associated with these things.、Um, however, behind all of these experiences and behind this feeling of hurt, again, is something that can be of assistance to us. 那么背后的啊，背后的一个好的东西是什么呢？这个，比如说我们的身体的痛苦啊，精神的痛苦，这里面有一个东西呢，它是正面的，正面。这个正面的东西能够让我们成长，它对我们的这个自我成长啊是有一定的帮助的。所以我们从这个角度看，那么痛苦是可以接受的。And、uh, this positive thing or constructive thing that lies behind suffering is the capacity for this experience or feeling to assist us in our self-growth, in our personal growth. So, on for this reason, or we therefore have a reason for accepting the suffering. But our, ah, our, this, 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 为什么这么说呢？就是因为这个痛苦啊，生了病以后，我们身体不舒服啊，所以我不，所以我不欢迎他啊，所以我要拒绝。然后呢，我们的心里啊有这个伤心的时候啊，伤心的时候呢，这个伤心的这个感觉是啊我们不喜欢的东西，所以我们就认为啊，伤心啊，我不要伤心，我不要这个不开心。我们会拒绝啊，我们的想法就这么简单。But usually, the way that we think is extremely basic. It's extremely simplistic. Whenever we become sick or、um, and experience the suffering attendant with that, we don't welcome it. We resist it. We don't want it. The same with our with psychological suffering too. When we experience hurt or emotional injury, of course, we don't like it. We don't want it, and we try to push it away. 如果我们怎么，如果我们这样子去思考的话，啊，这样子去思维的话，那么动手术，啊，我们也应该拒绝，啊，吃药，我们也应该拒绝，啊，这些因为这些都是我们不喜欢的东西，啊，所以这这这个，比如说药的味道，啊，动手术的这个感觉，啊，这些都是我们不喜欢的，那么不喜欢的东西都拒绝的话。啊，这个我们也应该拒绝，但是我们没有拒绝。If we, if this was、um, 
the basis of our logic, then uh, by rights we should also reject operations, we should also reject taking medicine. If we essentially resist all of the things that we don't like and try to push them away, such as uh, presumably that would include medicine that doesn't taste good and operations that don't feel good. Um, that is everything that we don't like we should push away and repel, but um, we don't always do this. Uh, 这个 这个遗上,遗上我们这样的是,我们为什么要拥抱这个痛苦,为什么要接受痛苦的原因,利用,简单的说就是这样子,这是利用。So in talking about the uh, constructive um, potential of suffering, what I've just addressed is the reason that we should go about accepting suffering. 接下来,我们再看看这个,那么痛苦,它有什么好的东西,痛苦里面呢,有什么东西是可以帮助到我们的。So I'd like now to talk about uh, the constructive or positive aspects of suffering and uh, the capacity that suffering has to actually be of assistance to us. 首先第一个,痛苦,它能够让我们增长,增长。the first thing is that suffering has the capacity to help us increase in our compassion. It also has the capacity to help us increase our wisdom. It's possible when we experience suffering to do to use it to train our minds. 这个训练,没有痛苦的时候是没办法训练的,做不,没办法做的。And the kind of training that I'm talking about is the kind that we just simply can't engage in when we don't experience suffering. 然后通过这个训练,我们可以超越自我,超越自我。And it's possible by engaging in this training in the midst of suffering to transcend our Ego,所以啊，任何一个事情，任何一个事情，它有正和反的两面啊，它有好的一面，有不好的一面啊，任何一个事物都是这样子，痛苦也啊，也是啊，就是有正面的，有负面的，所以我们看这个痛苦的正
work to accept that illness on the basis that obviously it's not me only, I'm not the only person in the world who is in the exper who is who is contracting this who has contracted this illness there are countless people in people in fact like myself whether it be in the past or the present or the future so I am not the only person to be in this situation 就是当我们知道了我自己得了一种绝症这样子的时候呢然后就是要去这么想好接下来我就通过这个疾病我要提升自己要超越自我这些工作这些训练就在这个这样子的痛苦之下才能够完成才能够成功的做到否则的话我是做不到的所以这一下子这个机会来了所以我通过这个疾病通过这个疾病我要做很多很多事情没关系就是要这么去接受然
，然后最后我们所有人都不不想不想死亡，但是我们最后所有人都会死亡，所以这些逃避是没有办法逃避，只有去面对。And the reason for this is that、uh, of the eight different kinds of suffering that we mentioned, we're just simply not able to escape them. No one wants to get sick, and yet we all get sick. No one wants to get old, and yet we all will get old. And at the end of the day, nobody wants to die, but we all will end up dying. So, given that it's not possible for to for us to escape these kinds of suffering, the only thing really left for us to do is simply to confront them. 嗯，释迦牟尼佛啊，他发明了一个啊，这个面对这些生活当中的这些各种各样的痛苦的一个方法啊，他就发明了一个这样子的方法。那么我们现在啊，用他的这个方法去面对啊，生活当中的各种各样的这个痛苦啊，这样子以后呢，这些痛苦啊。虽然是不能逃避啊，但是呢，它不会给我们带来太多太多的伤害和打击。So what the Shakyamuni Buddha did was to invent a method for dealing with or confronting the various kinds of suffering in life, and if we are able to Implement or employ this method, then even though there's no escape from these different forms of suffering,、um, the pain that they bring us is will、um, be considerably less. 好，我们刚才讲的啊，刚才讲的这些方法啊，我们可以归纳为三句话，可以归纳为三句话。And、um, it's possible to sum up、uh, this method or approach in、um, three sentences. 请大家记住啊，第一句话就是，当我们遇到这样子的精神和肉体上的这个痛苦的时候呢，然后啊，我们敞开心胸去面对、接受，这是第一句。So the、um, first sentence. Uh, is that、uh, when we f- find ourselves encountering psychological or physical suffering, that we courageously go about accepting it. 第二句话，那么我们为什么要这个接受啊？我们为什么接受痛苦呢？因为痛苦啊，它也有好的一面啊，它也有好的一面啊，所以我们这个时候呢。不要看痛苦的负面的啊，不好的一面，就看它的好的一面啊。这是如果我们这样子看啊，那么就可以这个里面我们发现啊，我们能够找到一些呃、啊、这个为什么要接受的利用啊。第二句就第二句话就是利用啊，为什么要接受的利用？啊、uh, ，the uh second. Point we might say it's probably best to describe them as three points. The, se- the second point is、uh, to bear in mind the reason for accepting suffering, the justification for accepting suffering, and that is because, as we've、uh, just covered, that、uh, suffering does have its、uh, constructive side. It does have its positive aspects. So if we bear in mind these, then we are supplied with a reason for accepting the suffering. 第三句话啊，那么我们看这个痛苦的好的一面啊，那么实际上痛苦是真的是有好的一面，还是是我们的一个自我安慰啊？那这样子的话，实际上不是我们自我安慰，实际上啊，痛苦它的感受啊，它给我们的第一个感觉就是我们不太喜欢它，但是呢，它的背后。哦，真的是有好东西啊！所以这个不是我们的自我安慰啊，实际上它有好的一面。第第三点嘞？啊，第三点。第理由，让理由在这。啊。呃，也是属于理由是吧？呃，是理由嘛？就实际上它是有的啊，不是自我安慰，实际上它有。And、uh, the third point to keep in mind is having、um, having having、uh, seen or accepted that suffering does have 
um, a positive function, that we should have conviction that this positive function is not just an idea, it's not just a way of comforting ourselves. Um, we should uh, be have conviction in the fact that the positive benefits that suffering can bring us are real and substantive. 好,这个是我们今天要讲的这个三个方法当中的第一个。so um, what we've really just been talking about is the attitude that we can take um, in the face of suffering. And this is the first method of addressing suffering that we're talking about today. 好,第一个方法呢,我们要落实,要落实到这个生活当中的话,那么在这个之前还需要一点点的这个训练。那么这个训练呢, 当我们还没有遇到这样子的这个问题啊，还没有遇到这样子的痛苦的时候啊，我们适当的去学习啊，适当的去修心锻炼这样子的话，到时候啊，遇到问题的时候就很成功的啊，就解决这个问题啊。否
这个感觉啊，因为没有轮到我们自己的身上，所以我们都不是很，都体会不到。So when we are in a state of health, wealth, everything's going fine for us in our professional lives and whatever else, we really、uh, don't tend to think too much about the suffering of those who are poor or those who are experiencing misfortune or the nature of the suffering of people who are sick. It's not really until it happens to us, until it's our turn, that we really have a strong understanding or experience of what these kinds of suffering are like. 当我们啊不太了解，或者是不太体会到这些社会的底层，呃，人的这个感受这样子的时候呢，我们很难有真正的这个慈悲心。And、uh, when we are unable to, or until we have a been able to gain a insight and.、Uh, Understanding, deep understanding of the suffering of people in these marginal and difficult situations, then it's very difficult for us to have true compassion. 好，那么现在，比如说我们自己生病了啊，工作不顺利了啊，或者是没钱了啊，那这样子的时候呢，我们啊，机会来了啊，我们通过自己的这个痛苦，可以啊。了解更多的人的这个痛苦，然后呢，从中啊、uh ，我们可以培养我们自己的这个慈悲心。So, um, because of this, when we do get sick or we um find ourselves um in um bad financial situation or our work isn't going well, then again we can see this as an opportunity. An opportunity has arrived, and we can use the suffering that is associated with these、um, different situations to gain in understanding and insight、um, concerning、uh, about the suffering of others, and、um, thereby increase in our compassion. 好，这个时候。啊，我们自己生病的时候，啊，我们自己这个遇到问题的时候，啊，生活当中遇到各种各样的这个问题啊，这样子的时候呢，那我们的正确的这个思维的方式是什么呢？这个时候啊，我们应该想啊，这下子啊，比如说我生病了啊，那么我发自内心的希望啊，用我的这个病啊。来代替啊，代替天下所有人的这个病啊，祝愿啊，我发自内心的啊，这个呃发愿啊，只有我一个人生病啊，其他人都不要生病啊，所有人的这个病痛啊，我一个人啊来这个代替啊，要这么去想，这个就是正确的思维方式。So, in、uh, a situation where、uh, we get sick or we encounter problems in life, the proper or appropriate way for us to think is, or is to make a very deep aspiration from the bottoms of our heart that um, me, uh, I, in.、Uh, Having this sickness, let me take on the suffering of all other people who are sick and suffering at the moment, and let my act of taking on their suffering mean that no other、um, being has to experience the suffering. This is、um, the proper way for us to think in such a、uh, such a situation. 刚才我们讲到了啊，痛苦能让我们超越自我啊。那什么叫做超越自我呢？平时我们的生活当中，我们是怎么认为的呢？啊，所有好的东西啊，我要拥有啊；所有的不好的东西，我要给别人啊啊。然后呢，我不愿意去面对啊，不好的东西让其他人去面对啊，好的东西我要拥有啊。这是我们的姿势，姿势。那么现在啊，通过这个冰桶，我们倒过来啊，倒过来。我宁可我生病啊，不要其他人生病啊。我的病痛啊，我愿意代替所有人的病痛啊。只有只有这个天下啊。
只有我一个人生病，其他人都不要生病啊。那么以这样子的方式去超越自我。So we、uh, spoke before of the capacity of、uh, suffering to enable us to transcend self-clinging, and how is it that this、uh, is possible? Well, generally, in terms of、uh, good and positive things, we want them all to happen to us, and negative things or bad things, we would prefer that. Other people confronted them,、um, so we're generally rather selfish.、Um, however, by taking this approach, when we encounter the suffering of sickness, we reverse our habitual mode of thinking,、um, and instead aspire that me or ourselves, our, 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 our own selves, rather be sick. That we take on the sickness of all others, take on the suffering of all others, so that they、um, might not be sick, so that they might not undergo the suffering. So, it's by engaging in this process that we have the potential to transcend our self-clinging. Then, ah, there is a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a 比如说，所有这个天下所有人的啊冰啊冰桶啊，都变成了一个黑色的气体啊。然后我吸气的时候呢，啊吸气的时候啊，把所有人的冰啊，所有人的痛苦，我吸过来啊，从我的这个鼻孔吸过来，就是吸到我的身体里面。然后呢，我一个人生病，我一个人。啊，痛苦。那么，这天下的所有的人啊，都没有痛苦啊，没有这个生病，他们都远离啊，他们都离开了这个痛病痛的啊，这个痛苦啊，就是这样子冥想啊，这是一个训练的一个方式，是一种冥想。Um, and there's a visualization that we can do when we're practicing in this way. We can visualize the、uh, suffering related to the illness of others as a black black vapor, and when we breathe in, we can inhale this black vapor, the suffering of others, and in so doing,、um, aspire that、uh, we ourselves be sick and in pain, so that. Uh, no one else is, and that our act of breathing in this black vapor, of breathing in their suffering, enables every single person in the world to be relieved of their own suffering. So this is a kind of training that we can do. 比如说啊，我们举一个例子，今天我们这里有一百个人啊，一百个人。那么如果这个一百个人当中有一个人啊。是一定要得病啊，得一种很严重的病啊。那么这样子以后呢，看谁愿意呢？啊，我们都会说啊，我不要得病。每个人都说我不要得病，我不要这个病啊，就是这样子啊。这个我们平时我们的这个心灵的反应啊是这样子，嗯。然后呢，有了这个慈悲心的时候呢，然后每个人都会说啊，每个人都会站站起来，站出来说啊，我愿意啊。我得病，其他的九十九个人都不健康啊！给他们一个健康，我希望他们健康。就我一个人得病啊，我来代替所有人的这个病啊，就是这个。如果有了慈悲心啊，他就会这样子啊，他就能够这个当中啊，能够超越自己啊，能够提升自己的这个慈悲心。Uh, so if we, oh,、um, is the microphone working still? Oh, yes, no, no.、Uh, I will speak loudly then, yeah.、Um, uh, so if a hundred, there's a hundred of us here today, and if、um, uh, if it were the case that one of us must contract a dreadful illness, then then in an ordinary Situation, we would, everyone would probably be saying, "Oh, not me, not me! Please don't let it be me."、Um, this is the way that we usually think.、Um, however, once we've 
cultivated our compassion, then our response is very different. Um, our response would then be to stand up and say, let it be me, let it be me, I will be the one who gets sick so that the 99 other people here can be healthy. So uh, cultivating our compassion, um, we both transcend our self-clinging and uh, cultivate, increase our compassion by training in this way. Uh, uh, so the second, um, this is the second method or approach that we can take for dealing with suffering. Um, it's not an easy one. It's a difficult one to put into practice. So, uh, this is and because of the fact that it's not easy, we really need to be starting to practice this right now when we are not in a state of grave illness or suffering, uh, so that in the event that we do encounter this suffering, we're actually able to uh, successfully use this method. 然后有了这样子的这个慈悲心的时候呢 if we are able to um, uh, practice this, this to adopt this kind of approach, then um, by the strength of powerful compassion, the pain or suffering that is associated with illness will not increase. Um, uh, the power of uh, strong compassion um, will enable us to, um, for, for the pain associated with the illness, to um, not become any more serious. Uh, 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 within the Mahayana teachings, there's a formal name for this practice. It's called Donglen, and it is the practice of exchanging self for other. And um, it would be wonderful if everybody learned more about this practice and also um, did this practice. 好,最后就是我们的第三个这个方法啊,给大家介绍一下。and finally, I'd like to talk about the third method that we can use for approaching suffering. And the final uh, method is the highest um, method within the Mahayana teachings for approaching suffering. This is 生气的时候,难受的时候,心里难受的时候,这些时候是非常非常关用的。And this method is extremely effective, it's extremely useful in moments when we experience un unhappiness or anger or other forms of psychological upset. Uh, 什么是痛苦? Uh, uh, 什么是伤心? 什么是难国？实际上是我们的意识啊，我们的意识，我们的新的一种感受啊，就叫做这个难国、难受、痛苦。除了这个以外啊，没有其他的痛苦和难受。what is suffering? Uh, what is upset? What is sadness? What is um, depression? All of these are simply perceptions that arise in our consciousness. 
呃，我们啊，就是当我们心里很难受的时候啊，心里很难受的时候，然后第一个，嗯，不要去啊酗酒啊，第二个就是不要用其他的方法，就用一个。方法啊，一个非常健康的一个方法可以用。So with the exception,、uh, besides the perception in our consciousness, there is no independently existing sadness or anger or anything like this. So,、uh, given this to be the case, when these、uh, perceptions arise in our consciousness, whether it be psychological upset or whatever, we shouldn't turn to the drink, but、uh, take a more healthy alternative. 那么这个最好的方法是什么呢？我们那个时候我们心里不高兴的时候、生气的时候，首先找一个稍微比较安静的地方，要坐下来。Uh, so what we should do when、uh, these feelings do arise, the first thing to do is to locate a quiet place and sit down. 那么平时呢，我们不开心的时候啊，我们会想啊。这个人对我怎么怎么不好啊？那个人对我怎么不怎么不好啊？这个人就是对我啊，这个啊，伤害我、侮辱我等等，我们会这么去想啊啊，平时就是这样子。那么这样子以后呢，我们的这个难受、难过，或者是我们的这个烦恼，就会越来越增长，越来越增长。Ordinarily, when、uh, we find ourselves feeling upset, the first thing we do start to do is blame others and say, "Oh, that person did this to me, and that person did that to me. They hurt me, they insulted me, etc." And as a result, our sense of、uh, mental or emotional affliction、uh, just increases. 那么这个时候呢，我们不要到往外面去想啊，这个人对我不好，那个人对我不要外面去，往里边。啊，往里边去看，我到底啊，什么是什么是伤心啊？到底什么是难过？到底什么是生气啊？往里面啊，去看一看，去了解一下，往自己的心里。So at, in these moments, what we should do is rather than turning to external sources. And、uh, seek to find blame in external sources. We should turn inwards、um, to ourselves and ask of ourselves, what is suffering? What is upset? What is sadness? What is the nature of anger? This time, you will definitely find that there is a miracle. And if we are able to do this, it, we will. Uh, necessarily encounter something miraculous. This miracle is what? For example, our pain, our anger. If we don't pay attention to it, if we don't pay attention to it, it will become more and more strong, more and more growing. If we pay attention to it, it is not necessarily the fact that we are not paying attention to it. It is the fact that we are not paying attention to it. 它就会往里面收缩啊，它就会不会发展啊，它会越来越小，越来越小，甚至它会消失。And what we will discover, what we discover is that when we fail to turn our attention to the essence of a negative emotion, they continue to grow and increase in their extremity or their their severity. However, when we Actually, turn our attention to examining the fundamental nature of、uh, this perception or emotion. We find that the perception shrinks; it ceases to grow, and it even may possibly disappear. 比较轻微的啊，轻微的这个伤心、难过和生气啊，它不需要任何其他的方法，就是关注一下它自己啊。它立即就会消失的
So relatively mild forms of um, psychological upset, anger, sadness, etc. They really don't require us to do anything more than to turn our minds to examining their nature and of their own accord they will disappear. 这个难过生气的这个念头它是来自于什么当它诞生的时候它来自于什么首先看它的源头是什么它是从哪里来的这个时候我们会发现它是没有来源没有源头 and uh, what we can do is turn our attention to examining the origin of this particular kind of negative thought. The negative thought, where did it arise from? What was its origin? What was its beginning? And if we examine the thought in this way, we'll, we will discover that in fact it doesn't have an origin. It didn't come from anywhere. Uh, 它消失于什么地方它消失在什么地方什么地方消失了观察一下然后我们会发现它没有一个消失的地方它也没有一个单生的地方它也没有一个消失的地方在佛教里面这个就叫做物来物去 And similarly we can observe the thought where does it, when it disappears, when it fades, where does it fade into? What is the place that it fades into? And in observing in this way, we will discover that there is no place that it dissolves into. So, uh, on the one hand, the thought arises from nowhere and it also dissolves into nowhere. So, we talk about this in Buddhist language as no arising and no ceasing. Ma,这个时候,我们会发现,原来它就像一个清风一样,轻轻的风吹过来了,抚摸了我们的身体,然后它就走了,走了以后就是乌云乌总。and in observing in this way, uh, the thought will appear to us just like a gentle breeze. A gentle breeze that blows over our body, uh, ruffles us a little bit and then departs. Then我们也会发现,它就像天上的一朵云,一朵云从东边出来往西边走,走完了以后呢,它实际上就是一个过客,走完了以后呢, 也没有什么,没有留下什么,就是无因无总,最后它还是无因无总. And we can liken the thought also to a cloud, a cloud that um, moves from the east of the sky to the west. It's just like a traveler moving through the sky. It leaves nothing behind us. It's completely traceless. 就是当你发现它是无因无总它就是只不过就是一个过客啊这样子的时候呢这就叫做智慧智慧我们用回烟啊看烦恼发现了这个烦恼的本质啊然后就增长了我们的智慧 so in, in discovering this, in discovering that these um, negative thoughts are just like a passing traveler, are completely traceless and ne leave nothing in their wake, what we do is uh, generate wisdom. We generate the wisdom of recognizing the essence of delusion. Uh, 
So this third um, method for approaching suffering or confronting suffering that I've just spoken about is one that we need some foundation in um, Buddhist practice in order to really be able to implement. It's um, one that will probably be too difficult for people who are just starting out um, uh, in their Buddhist practice. However, it is one that we can um, effectively employ. Uh, so the um, three methods that I've um, introduced this afternoon can all be um, appropriated in our everyday lives um, when we encounter sufferings in different forms so that we can transform these experiences of suffering into happiness and states of optimism. Woman的内心越来越强大以后呢,不管是在外面发生了什么样的事情,他都不会影响到我们的内心,从此以后呢,可以过一个非常这个积极的,非常乐观的,非常开心的这样子的生活。so if we're able to implement these approaches successfully in our lives, then this will lead to us having stronger minds. And in having stronger minds, regardless of what transpires in the external world, it won't have the capacity to have a strong negative impact um, on our states of mind. And from this point in time, we can really go about living lives that are happy, meaningful and optimistic. 今天我们给大家介绍的这个三个方法，它还有每一个方法都有一些很具体、非常非常具体的方法。那么这些具体的方法，大家想了解的话，那我们需要进一步的去学习，进一步的去修心和锻炼。so in respect of the three methods that I've introduced today, each of them has um, its own associated, very um, detailed instructions for how to go about putting them into practice. So in terms of the practice of these three methods, um, uh, we really need to continue with learning more about their content and learning more about their practice. Yeah, uh, Thank you very much to everyone. Thank you. Thank you very much.